Right guys, welcome back. Hopefully I will cut it here because I just had to make my way back here. Um, yeah, here's me recording this on a bloody morning because I am bored, chipless and can't be asked to go to bed yet. Hey, yay, we're going to play. Anyway, we were going to go in here. Weren't we? Yes. Come on, the wall feeling. Doodly doo. Open the door. Ooh, and there's Ilya. Hello. Weird fish boy. Charlotte the Fishman, yes. What those sissies? <gasps> uh oh, spaghettios, I've got more things making noises. <sighs> we know, Midna, stop being so cruel. And let's go see what the uh, little dudes were on about. Yes, because you're sending prayers fixes everything. Sissies. If I remember rightly, would have gone to the bridge and having to jump down. Oh, it's crazy stuff. It has been a while. Do do do. Come on, no, out. Thank you. So now we have our weird little objective. Mm. Trying to think of the best way to go there, actually. Because that's where a pona is. Which is awesome because he's never used to show you that. And I am not doing the English quite. So it should be able to go up and around that way. I should. Uh, hold on, just gotta pause. And back. Ever so sorry about that. I've got people popped up to me here, there, and everywhere. Like, oh no, naughties! I bet you I'm getting cut off by bloody loading screens, which is going to drive me crazy. Ha ha! Got ya! I love sneaking up on these guys. Also, that is so broken. I don't care. I do hope my TV isn't too loud. There we go. It's a problem. You end up playing so many different games and trying to record them all. And it can get rather annoying because you think, oh, perfect volume for the telly. Is that, no, no, it's not. Slap to the face. That's what you get for assuming things. It's like, um, I don't know whether or not anyone will be following. I'll probably put a link somewhere. But, um, curse you, loading screen. Yeah, um, Hannah, my girlfriend, has her own channel, and I was coerced, rather persuasively, into doing a co-op series with her. 
Um, yeah. Not exactly perfect in audio capture, but a few technical difficulties. A few episodes have been recorded. So I'll post a link somewhere about that, I think. Mm. But it's interesting. <gasps> the bridge! Uh-oh. Good, bad? Oh, yeah, this is where shit gets weird. Awesome, but weird. Also, other news for you. Star Fox 6... No, not Star Fox 64? No. Star Fox Zero is on his way to me. And uh, that's going to be something else I'll be recording. I'm not exactly giving myself uh, much of a breather with this stuff. Making too many promises again. But I think with Star Fox Zero and... Yes, the oil we're standing in. With the way that the game is structured, is similarly to prior titles. You're an arsehole. Also a damn good shot. Also, it was totally unnecessary for you to fire an arrow to that part. I'm not that trapped, thank you. Um, there we go. That didn't line up just right, otherwise you screwed. Right, get on. Jump! Awesome. Anyway, yes, with the way that... Star Fox Zero is similarly structured as prior titles. I should be able to do it one mission at a time and do a run through that way. So it'll be easier in terms of recording compared to this. Uh, forgive the click the clack. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, yeah, Zara's just moaning. Thank you. Also, it's so weird seeing the bottom of Lake Hylia like this. Oh, weird cannon dude. Fantastication. Awesome. This is ever so humorous in places. Uh, no. And no. You sissy. Also, I can see your moustache this time, and that's creepy. <sighs> you are hopeless. Also, I keep hitting the D-pad. Because I'm so used to changing the senses with the Wii remote. Because that's, you know, the version I played with and I keep saying, you're a little shit. You're a little fucking shit. Also, why only have one eyepiece on your mask? And fuck you. And this is just evil. Good 
Because now you just didn't have trouble with the one enemy. Oh yeah, I forgot right trigger is also um Get down here, you son of a bitch. So not fair. There we go. Now this can take a while, <laughs> which I really don't want it to. I don't particularly want to go recording for that long. You know, because I need sleep game. Oh, come on. Get down here. No. <sighs> yes, hopefully you guys will join me for the Star Fox playthrough. And yes, I am trying to sort out a few other things and whatnot, but a lot of chaos going on and issues with the family so on, which I'm not going to go into major personal issues, especially when it comes to family, because, you know, it's other people involved. If it's my own direct personal issues, another ball game, I'll be quite happy to talk about that. But, uh, family matters and all that are usually kept private for a damn good reason. There we go. Thank you, son of a bitch. Yeah, you're dead. Birdie will behave because it has a saddle. <clears throat> I think he's the only one to have a saddle. Ooh, and this is fun. Weird but fun. It's a shame you can't do this specific one again. Because there's certain mini games in in this that I would just love to be able to do over and over and over. There is a similar mini game later on, but still, it's just not the same. Though one could argue in a um, Super Mario Galaxy, <gasps> <Ooh. clears throat> one and two, you get a um... oh, son of a bitch. Have my or is it just Super Mario Galaxy two? You get the Fluzzard, which works in a similar manner, but you're going downwards. Shame you can't attack anything while doing this. I think, am I thinking right? Pretty sure it's only in wolf form you can do the one with a load of balloons, pumpkins, watermelons, and tomatoes. And I think the pumpkins are the highest multiplier. Also, these sons of bitches all have bomb arrows, and it is not fair. Ooh. That was so lucky. No. I get the... I really want to play Gunstar Heroes now. Not Gunstar Heroes, no. But that's an awesome game as well. Good old Mega Drive. Um, what am I thinking of? Sin and Punishment. Yes, and I've only got... Sequel which was released on Wii because the original was never released over in Europe or America. 
but the sequel, Sin and Punishment, was awesome. Rather simple game, but so damn fun, I have got to play it again. But the original, I'm pretty sure, is available on... The Wii U eShop, I want to say. So I may check that out at some point down the line, because I have got plans with money and so on, and I'm kind of sorting things out in the minute, so we'll see, we'll see. I'm making too many promises to myself and to you guys, and I've got to stop. <gasps> Mmm, hint, freaking hint. See, I love it how all these people are thinking that the Zoras have done something intentionally. And clearly not, because they need the water too. I can't get over there yet, which is annoying because there's a howling stone I want to use. Ugh. But yay. Also, the bloom effect on this is so weird. So weird. In case you couldn't work it out, oh, everything's cool. Follow the ice. There you go. You know what I think I'll do as well? After defeating third main temple, as is the general formula of most of the 3D freaking Zelda's, um, I will test out the Wolf Link Amiibo dungeon thingy. I wonder why, Midna. Jeez. And also, oh, that's reflection and weird. Sh oh, that's just that's weird. What was I saying? Oh yes, this game is practically a homage to. Ocarina of Time, because everyone loved Ocarina of Time. So what are they going to do? Replicate it. Yes, with conveniently created stalactites and stalagmites. Ice versions as well. Ooh. Anything worth? No. So easy to fall off. See? Uh -huh. I know it's intentional how they do that to you, but it still makes me put myself. Not literally, of course, because that's just disturbing. Also, I'm sitting on my living room floor, so if I were to put myself at yeah, no, thank you. <gasps> dun dun dun! And look! Yeah, so avoid these two mofos. Munch, 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 munch. Munchy munch! Come on. Thank you. No! No! You were you highlighted too, yeah. Son of a bitch. Right. Insta kill. Oh, what the f you gotta get him more out of the open, haven't you? 
Son of a bitch. See, as wonderful as this instant kill attack is, it's so damn slow. At least to get them into range. Yes. Which is a whole huge hint, hint, hint as to what needs to happen because looky look, lots of frozen fishies. So, hmm, what do we do? What with my puppet? Great, you want your power. It's just basically telling you everything you need to freaking know. Anyway, we want to zoom out and go. Because. There we go. Yes, death mountain. Thank you. And oh look, conveniently. Remember this? Do you eat I mean you can't speak to her and she's like, ooh, well this is the thing we need to do to do the thing. Like, yeah, I'm the one with the brain. It's nice in as much as it makes you feel as though you're doing the work and you're the one doing the thinking. But it is ultimately holding your hand at the same time. Not as much as Skyward Sword was. Which I agree with Ego Raptor. But eh, we'll see. But this is just awesome. Awesome! Instant Thorification! Shame you couldn't do that in Ocarina of Time. In the adult world, the Zora Domain is just frozen. Hmm. Yay! We rescue everybody! Yes, yes we can. Now if you speak to these dudes. Oh, poor sods. Also, they're awesome. And there's a throne. There's nothing really we can do in here at the minute. It's not until later when we get Zora's tunic and restore the light and everything else. So we're going to play in the water. Oh! Oh, is this? Yes. She is gorgeous. For a fish bird. Yes. I mean, you can tell this is sort of what they wanted to go for with Princess Ruto. But with the limitations. I mean, in the 3DS port of Buckaroon of Time, she looks a thousand times better. And then in Hyrule Warriors, she looks amazing. But still a weird fish girl. Whereas this, with the way that Rutella appears, she's a lot more human and less amphibian. Or Piscine, should I say. Oh. 
Everybody else know what I am. Go on. Oh, well, yeah, fat lot of use that would do. I will. You don't actually have to give me anything. He is a prince. It is sort of my sworn duty to save everybody. Awesome. I suppose I will. Looking at everything we need to do in the dark world as a wolf will not take up that much time that it could potentially kill Ralis. And at least now we can just follow the river quite easily. Kind of doesn't work that way, but okay. Whoosh! So awesome. And now everybody's happy. Woo. And look at that conveniently. Oh, he kind of had no other route to take, but okay. You want to take it up me? And I will do in next episode because I really, really, really need to get some sleep, guys. So thanks again for coming along. Sorry, it's another short-ish one compared to my usual videos. But next time, we will uh, restore light to Lake Hylia. So thanks again, guys. And for now, take care.